Clap your hands, everybody, for Philadelphia, 76ers, stomp your feet, everybody, for Philadelphia, 76ers, let's go, let's go, huge comeback win, huge comeback win, and bead. He is a monster. He's the mo he he says it all the time. He is the most unstoppable player in the league. Easily. Easily. 36 points, 5 assists, 13 rebounds, 1 block, 3 steals, 10 of 10 from the free throw line. That's how you win games. Clutch down the stretch. Two clutch free throws. Two. Loved what I saw out of Embiid today. Loved it. Thank God. The Sixers were playing from behind almost the entire game. Trey Young was killing us in the first half. The Hawks had 40 points at the end of the first quarter. They could not miss. Six of nine from three. They were on fire. They were on fire. Josh Richardson got in some foul trouble. Five fouls. Some bad calls for Jay Rich. All game. He finished with 14 points and 3 blocks. A lot of blocks for the Sixers. Horford had 4 blocks. Matisse had 2 blocks. And Bede obviously had 1. And Jay Rich had four or a 3. The Sixers looked good. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. The Sixers competed. They, needed, they, they stepped up when they had to. Sixers were down by 8 points with 4 minutes left in the game. And they came back and won the game. They came back and won. 105-103. Beating the Hawks. They looked, good down, they looked real good down the stretch. Now I will say this. Way too many threes. Way too many. 41 threes. That is way too much. Way too much. Especially for a team... That isn't very good at shooting the three ball. Gotta work on the threes. Especially if we're going to shoot them, we gotta make them. We gotta knock them down. Simmons had a quiet offensive night. 13 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Horford only had four point, or 5 points. He had a 3 and then he had 2 free throws. Toby had six or 13 points and 6... 13 points... Five assists and five rebounds. He came. He was quiet throughout most of the game, and he was struggling a little bit. He did come in clutch down the stretch and knocked down a. He knocked down a floater. He knocked down a free throw to get us within three. He's got to be better if he's going to be a one hundred eighty dollar man. But again, it's game three, and he just had a really good game against the Pistons last game. A really good one. 29 points. 16 points in the third period or third quarter alone. Tybal had 8 points, 3 rebounds, 2 blocks and 4 steals. He was 2 of 7 from the three-point line. Now that's not good. I get it. He's young. It's his third NBA game ever. He played 20 minutes. But if you're not hitting your shot then you got to stop shooting. Because we're just wasting possessions at that point. To me, Matisse on offense looks lost. He looks overwhelmed. But on defense, it looks like he's been in the league for as long as Vince Carter, the way he plays defense. He plays defense like a vet, and he plays offense like a rookie. And I'm sure that will, it will obviously work out in the end. He has a long career ahead of him. He's only a rookie. But he finished with 8 points tonight. Not too bad. Shake Milton had 9 points. Went down with a knee injury. He kind of hyperextended his knee. He stepped on whoever's foot. And it kind of came out from under him. His knee stretched all the way out. He wasn't expecting it. He went out. From the last 2 games though that Shake has played. He has looked good. He's looked solid. 10 points last game. 9 points this game. He looks good. Hopefully this injury isn't long. 
Hopefully we can get him back out on the court either next week or the week after that. Because he's a solid bench player. Now let me get into the into the point of the game where I was freaking out. Mike Scott got called for a foul. Now it was on the they they were on the break, the Hawks were on the break. Mike Scott goes over and bumps the guy. Literally just bumps him. And the guy and Damian Jones just flails his arms everywhere like NBA players do. And as they're reviewing this, it goes to a commercial break. They come back, they're still reviewing it. Then you hear Flagrant 2. Mike Scott's ejected from the game. Not even close was that a Flagrant 2 foul. Not even close. It, that was the worst call I've ever seen. The, the worst flagrant call I've ever seen. It was an all it was a horrendous call. He only played nine minutes. It was ridiculous. The game might have been a lot different if Mike Scott played and he added the three ball that we didn't really necessarily have. But it's whatever. Sixers get the win. And that is what matters. Because now the Sixers are the only remaining team in the Eastern Conference that is undefeated. 3-0. and They beat the Hawks, who were 2-0. and 2-1 now. 3-0. and We play the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have started off very strong. They are also 3-0. and Towns has been ridiculous to start the season. Wiggins had a solid game against the Heat, hitting three straight threes to close out the game. Look, teams might be able to score on teams like the Heat, teams like the Pistons, bad defensive teams. We are the best defensive team in the league. Honest, that That's what I think. I think we are the best defensive team in the league. And people have to game plan against us. They have to call plays against us. They have to get screens off so they can they can get open shots. Well, other teams, they just leave them wide open. Not with us, though. We're too long. We're too lengthy. And we just have good defenders. I mean, the fact that every single starter got a block and a steal today is crazy. Honestly. And not just like, oh, like one steal, one block for each. And Beat had three steals. Richardson had three blocks. Horford had four blocks. Simmons had two steals. Like, we're really good defensively. And then you have Matisse coming off the bench. Two blocks, four steals. He's a rookie and getting four steals. Now, I'm not saying he's going to win Rookie of the Year or anything like that. It looks like John Morant has that locked in the bag, and it's only game three. And I could be... Things could completely change. I mean, somebody could get injured and whatever. But as of right now, Matisse is definitely the best defensive rookie that I've seen in a while, in a long time. Not... I strictly watch bas like I watch basketball no matter who's playing. Like I watch basketball religiously. Like I have to do it. I I I don't watch other baseball teams. I definitely don't watch other hockey teams and I other football games like if it's on, it's on, but most of the time I'll turn on red zone just so I can see a touchdown. I don't really care who's playing as long as I see the ball go in the end zone. That's the exciting part. In basketball, though, you see highlight, you see dunks, you see crossovers, you see threes, you see half-court shots nowadays. Now, I, I find that fun. That's what I love about this about basketball season. One, because all like three sports are being played at once: football, hockey, and ba- or football, hockey, and basketball. And basketball has just always been the top sport for me. But we really, like, the Sixers stepped up when they needed to. They really did. Defensively, they weren't the best today. Offensively, they weren't the best. Obviously. But at the end of the game, Embiid made two free throws. 
The Hawks had to go the length of the court. And we did a good job keeping it out of Trey Young's hands. Trey Young is a cold-blooded killer. He's a good, cold-blooded killer. He's young. And he, he's really good in the clutch. He has ice in his veins. I'm, I'm certain of it. To even get us to that point, to where Embiid had to knock down the two free throws to get us a two-point lead, Trey Young missed a free throw to put them down by one, and John Collins tips it back in, and then the game was tied. Then they foul Embiid. He makes the two free throws, and that's when we get to the inbounds play. They throw it to DeAndre Bembry. He passes it to 42-year-old Vince Carter. Vince Sanity, the guy that was in the dunk contest before I was born, shot the last second shot. And I think that's beautiful defense from the Sixers in that scenario. You know everybody, every Sixers fan slash Hawks fan knew that Trey Young was taking that shot. And the Sixers locked Trey Young down. They had a double team on him. They had Ben and Josh Richardson on him. They shut him down. And they went on. And they let Vince Carter take a fadeaway three with a hand in his face by Al Horford. That is what you call good heads up basketball defense. That, like, I love that type of defense. And that's something that we didn't have last year with J.J. Redick on the team. J.J. let up so... Like, J.J. was such a liability on defense. He was... He was fantastic on offense. He had his moments where he would just shoot like three to five threes and just make them all. He would have games where he was awful and that's what hurt us. When you're terrible on offense, he did nothing on defense. That is the exact opposite of what we have this year. When you have Al Horford putting up five points and still getting four blocks and then defending and rebounding those last plays, the last couple plays to get those Sixers the ball back, that is what you call a good defense. Another thing, the fact that down the stretch, when the Sixers took the lead, they had the Hawks had Alex Len shoot two three-pointers. One rolled in and out, and one was a miss. That's good defense. I'll live. I I will live with an Alex Len three any day of the week, because it doesn't happen much. He was o of three, o of four today. He airballed one. One went in and out, and then one completely missed. One went off the back rim, and we got the rebound and scored on the other end. That's what you call good defense, and that's what I love about this team that we didn't have last year. As much as I love J.J. Redick, and I wish him nothing but the best in New Orleans, and I hope his streak isn't broken in the playoffs. Even though I think it might be now that Zion's injured for 6-8. But it's something that we didn't have last year that we have now. Josh Richardson is versatile. Ben Simmons is versatile. Joel, versatile. Horford and Tobias, both versatile. They're both all tall for their positions. Ben's a 6'10 point guard. It is hard for a small forward to get a shot up over Ben, let alone a 6'2 point guard that's a sophomore player. That's hard to do, especially being only 6'2. But Ben Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Embiid, Horford, they played Great defense, and that's why we got the W in the end. Now that's it for me. Sixers take the W, 3-0 on the season. We play the Minnesota Timberwolves on Wednesday at Wells Fargo Center. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace. Go Sixers, baby. Let's go.